The smoky air has been tough on a lot of people, especially those with underlying conditions. But a lot of you wanted to know the potential short and long term impact of this smoke on all of us. Here's Gordon Severson. You know, you can see the haze. It's definitely noticeable. Wildfire smoke has been the talk of the town this week. You kind of smell that in the air and it was just kind of heavy out, you know. Those who are working outside are definitely noticing a difference and they're taking the proper precautions. We drink a lot of water, keep hydrated, take breaks if we need. Doctors say the air quality is bad enough that even the average person can experience symptoms like shortness of breath and chest tightness. Everyone should be paying attention to the air quality. A little bad air shouldn't be a problem, but doctors say heavy exercise or heavy yard work for an extended period of time could lead to serious health problems. If you're overexerting your cardiovascular system, we worry about things like heart attacks or strokes. A lot of my patients have been more careful and they have been staying inside. Dr. Ham Desai is a pulmonary specialist at M Health Fairview. He says many of his patients who have COPD, asthma and lung disease have been feeling the effects of the bad air for several weeks now. What they mentioned is increased cough, increased shortness of breath, you will have congestion in your chest, chest tightness, those are the symptoms they tend to feel. So far at M Health Fairview, they haven't seen an increase in emergency room visits or patients in the ICU. And Dr. Desai says the average person shouldn't have to worry about any long-term effects after breathing this smoky air. The way our air weather and the air quality is in general on a baseline, we the small uptake in short amount of time should not cause any permanent damage. And as you said earlier, Rena, we are already seeing a big change today compared to what we saw yesterday. But doctors say patients with these breathing problems may struggle with this bad air for a few more days, possibly a week or two. And there is a chance we could see even more smoke down the road because many of those wildfires in Canada are still burning.